Now let's crochet the lavenders. A lavender is composed of petals and leaves, with a rod stringing them together. The petals of the lavender are started with a chain. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this, and pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. In round one, starting with a slip knot, then you should work 39 chain stitches. Please watch the basic instructional videos to learn the basic stitches and practice the basic stitches with the practice yarn in the kit. We use the thicker end of the crochet hook. The hook is on the yarn's right side and goes around counterclockwise. Pinch where the yarns cross with your thumb and middle finger. Yarn around the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Then tighten the loop by pulling the yarn tail. One slip knot is done. Then work 39 chain stitches. Yarn around the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on hook. That's one chain stitch. We need to complete 39 chain stitches. Yarn around the hook, pull the yarn through the loop. That's one chain stitch. Such a V-shape stands for one stitch. Repeat the previous steps to work the remaining chain stitches. There will be 39 chain stitches in total. Okay, 39 chain stitches are finished. A V shape is counted as one stitch. Let's count the V shapes to check the number of the stitches. Each V shape is one stitch. Now skip the first two chains and work a double crochet increase and three chain stitches be caught in the third chain from hook. Then work a set of one double crochet three chain stitches be caught for 12 times. Then work a set of one double crochet four chain stitches be caught for 12 times. Then work a set of one double crochet, five chain stitches be caught for 12 times. And finally, one double crochet in the last chain. Now let's start. Skipping the first two chains, work a double crochet increase in the third chain 
A double crochet increase means working two double crochets in the same stitch. Yarn run hook first. Insert hook into a third chain. Hook the yarn and pull the yarn through the stitch. There are three loops on hook. Yarn round hook, pull through the first two loops on hook. Then yarn round hook again, pull through the remaining two loops on hook. That's one double crochet. Then we need to work another double crochet in the same stitch. Yarn round hook, insert hook into the same stitch. Pull the yarn through the stitch. There are three loops on hook. Yarn round hook, pull through the first two loops on hook. Yarn round hook again, and pull through the remaining two loops on hook. Okay, two double crochets in the same stitch have finished. That's one double crochet increase.